What year did you meet Miyazaki-san and what were your first impressions of him? So Miyazaki-san joined from software when industry was dominated by PlayStation 2. And the game he was working on was Armored Core Last Raven. And it was pretty obvious that he had a strong motivation for working on the game. He suggested a lot of things to other dev members. And he also worked really hard convincing other dev team members to align with his direction. So it was pretty obvious that he was standing out from other dev members at From Software. So what do you think are like his biggest strengths specifically? What do you think he's exceptionally good at? It's really hard to explain in a single sentence Miyazaki-san's advantage. But he's really fast at interpreting game design ideas. He doesn't spend that much time adjusting areas, which is the best way to make a game better. Do you think there are misconceptions about Miyazaki-san around the world? Do you pay attention to like how he's perceived? Although he pretends to be an outgoing person, he's actually pretty shy. <laughs> I've even heard that members of the media and fans have asked him for little conversations when seeing him at game conventions like E3. But he told me that he's having difficulty fulfilling those requests in a proper manner. <laughs> Just because there's like too many fans out there at this point? So Miyazaki-san feels that his face isn't recognized that much by fans or the media right now. So he's hoping that rather than his appearance or himself being treated like a superstar, that fans give good comments on his games. He's a little bit nervous about being treated like a superstar in the video game industry. So Dark Souls should be the superstar. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what he wants the fans and the media to say. <laughs>